Okay, okay, so we have from the Dollar Tree, I have these crafter squares, and these are eight by eight. It's canvas, flat canvas. We done did these plenty of times. I have the drive erase paddle. Plenty of times. Um, it's something you can print on the front and the back. I'm gonna do these. These right here I found at the Dollar Tree. These dry erase boards, they sit up. And I'm gonna try these, okay? So I'm gonna try these different. Okay, let me just add this in right here. After I finished making this video, I was looking at YouTube as I edit this video, and I realized that uh, there are several videos on YouTube with this dang on mini sandwich board on there, and um. I just neglected to look at YouTube prior. I just got them and I was like, ooh, dry erase boards. Let me see if I can do that. And um, had I just looked on YouTube, I wouldn't have been messing them up to figure out how to do them. But nonetheless, back to the video. From ways, I'm going to try them straight with the sub paper and then I'm going to try them with the laminating sheet. Okay, so we're going to start with this board since it's the thickest and I'm going to have to change the setting on my um, heat press afterwards. My little swamp cooler is sweating. Okay, so I'm going to have to change the settings afterwards. I got me some prints for these. And um. I'm going to start with these, so give me a second. Let me cut these out. Well, tear them out because I don't cut them. Let me tear these out, and then we'll be ready. Okay, so we're going to start with the first one. And the first one I have the sub paper directly on this dry erase board. I don't have the laminated paper, so I'm going to see how this do. I have moderate to heavy pressure, and I'm doing it at 390 for 60 seconds. And 390 is because my heat press is really high. You'll probably have to do yours at... Um, 400 if this works. Let me get a, a blow out paper. So I'm just gonna use regular notebook paper for my blow out paper, okay? So let me get this camera straight and turn toward the heat press. Give me a second. Okay, this is my heat press, and I'm just gonna use regular copy paper as blow out paper since this is so small I don't need to use no butcher paper so I'm gonna put it in here with the um, sub paper up and again I got medium to heavy pressure I checked it before I put it in here I might have to adjust it so let me see no that's pretty good <clears throat> okay let's see what we got this is without the laminated paper. So I don't know how this gonna work. We'll see. Okay, let's see what we got. Uh, get my gloves on. I'm gonna burn my damn hand. So again, this one is without laminating paper. Try to see what we got going on. Okay, give me a second. Let me turn the camera around. Okay. Without laminating paper, so let me see if I could just rip this off without it flipping back. Mm, that's pretty good. That is pretty good. That is without laminating paper. Oh, it's running, so I'm going to try with some laminating paper. So if I touch it, it's kind of smearing. You see that? It's kind of smearing. So let me try one with the laminating paper. But that's pretty good. Maybe if I, I'm going to just let it dry. So we'll see. We see that happens when you first bring it out. Okay. 
So I'm going to let it dry as we doing this and see. We'll um see the bottom part by the time we finish, see if it's still messing up. But that picture came out pretty good. Maybe I shouldn't have touched it as soon as it came out, but let's try with the laminating paper, okay? See if we can get some more paper, I mean some more ink release. So we're gonna take the laminating paper. Once I find out what I did with it, okay, here we go. So we're gonna take the laminating sheet and we're only gonna use half of it. So I'm gonna tear it in half. Now, the cloudy side is the side that goes down um, on here. So I'm gonna put the laminating paper on here and then I'm gonna do the substrate. So, I mean, not the substrate. Try like this one. Okay, I'm gonna put the laminating paper and then I'm going to put the sub paper, I mean the sub on there. Oh, let me turn it this way. Yeah, so I can cut around it. So we're gonna put it like this. We're gonna hold it real good, make sure it's to the edge. Then we're gonna take our handy dandy exacto knife from the Dollar Tree also. And we're gonna cut right along here. And then we're gonna cut right along here. And we have our piece, okay? We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put this on and get this put on here. Just whip that around. I hope I didn't get your whiplash from doing that. So I got it on the heat press and I'm just going to press it. Give me a second. So I'm not sure how long I'm supposed to press this for us. So I'm going to try with 10 seconds. Guess I should have figured that out before I started. So we're gonna try for 10 seconds to see if it's stuck on now. Okay, that's about 10. Let's see. Okay, 10 seconds is stuck on there. Okay, the laminated paper, I know you can't see it because I cut it perfectly and it's on there. So we're gonna try the next one. And we're gonna see how it's gonna do. So we're gonna try this again. Yeah. So this one I made a little bit bigger so it'll be hanging off on the sides. So I just wanna make sure that I get my writing in here. I tried to make it big enough to go all the way around but I guess I didn't. But as long as we get the writing in there, we're gonna be good. So I'm gonna take that. I'm kind of excited about this. I'm getting ready to do some graduation invitations for one of my best friends. She's in Kuwait and her grandson is graduating. And so I had stopped taking graduation orders, but for her, I take an order the day before. Like um, when I say best friend, I mean one of my best, best friends. She, I've been knowing her since I was pregnant with my oldest daughter, my oldest daughter is 26 years. Um, she, my kid's godmother, and I mean, all around great person. So when she texts me and asks me, could I do it? Of course, yes, you can call me the day before and now overnight. When I say anything I need, my kids, my oldest used to call her every time. And I used to wonder why that girl always had money in high school when I didn't give it to her. Her Auntie Tracy. So, we got this on here. We got it down. Look like, let me, 
look at it and make sure. Okay, it's kind of crooked. Let me take that up. That's kind of crooked. Why I'm doing this like I really got to get it straight because this is really for me. I'm tripping. I'm gonna be teaching y'all so I'm gonna trip it. But make sure you get it straight. Flip that over. Put my tape down. Okay, here we go again. This is gonna be again 60 seconds. Okay. Again, we're gonna put the sub paper up instead of turn down. We're gonna put the blowout paper on it. Okay, let's see what we got. 60 seconds. This is with the laminating sheet. With the laminating sheet. Okay, I'm excited. Let's see what we got going on. Uh oh. Probably should have took that up a little bit softer. Let's see what we got going on. Let me flip the camera around. I'm gonna move that one right there. Okay, look like some better ink release. I can actually tell that now because it came through the paper. On the other one, it didn't really come to the paper because hey, this is the same paper I used on the first one. So let me see. I'm gonna take it. Oh, Oh, except for where I had that tape at, baby. What? Bam. Look at that. Look at that. Not smudged and so laminate is what you need. Oh, my goodness, y'all. Look. Look at that ink release. Baby, baby, Ooh, let's get moving. We're going to go to the second one. I am so freaking excited with that. Oh, look. Graduation invitation is coming up, baby. Oh, Jesus. Okay, let me show you the difference. So, I don't even want to go on to the next one. I'm so excited. So here's the difference. This one is without the laminated paper, which is good. And we'll, we see that it smudged when I first tuck it out. So let's see what it's doing now. This is about 10 minutes late. Okay. It's not really smudging. Well, yes, it is. I'm lying. So we do need the laminated paper. Not smudging as much as it was at the beginning. And it might have just been too much of ink drop on now. Let's see. I'm going to turn around and smudge. Okay, so yeah, it was kind of wet up there. It's not smudging anymore. I'm sorry. It's not smudging anymore. However, it's not as vibrant as that one. So, um, although you can sub these little boards without laminating paper, I say use laminating paper. So let's go on to the next one. I'm so excited with that. Okay, so next we're going to do the 8x8 eight eight canvas squares. This is something that we do all the time. Um, I know that this is cotton. And with such, you really need a laminating paper. But for purposes of these video, this video, I'm willing to mess up one of these. So that you can see what you should do. So I'm going to do one without the laminating per, uh, page first. Because I don't want you to mess up your stuff. You look at my videos. 
so I can mess it up and you don't have to mess up your stuff. Speaking of videos, when you're looking at my videos, please let the ads play. Don't fast forward through the ads. That is how um, I make a little change from YouTube in order to get this stuff to mess up so you won't have to mess up. So I'm not asking for money directly. However, if you want to um, donate, I do have my handles below Cash App and stuff. But YouTube advertisement will pay if you look through the ads. And it's free to look through the ads. So I'm going to start with this one. Hopefully I didn't make it too big. And this one I'm going to do without the laminated paper. But first I need to change the setting on my, um, on my heat press. Hold on. Let me... Um, I'm going to change the setting on my heat press. Because I want this tight also. However... We know I just got through doing that sandwich board, that mini sandwich board. So we're going to see. We see that's too big. And that's how you check your, um, your heat press. Whatever you're trying to press, you can put it to the corner, to the side. And then that way you can check your pressure. You can see if it's tight or whatever. So I'm going to tighten this up. I got this big old one. Let me tighten this up a little bit. And I'm going to test again. Too tight. Okay. I think that's good. That's good pressure. Okay. So. And the thing about these. Let's, let me tell you the thing about these. So. The thing about these are they're cotton. I mean, not cotton. They got that cardboard in there, and that heat makes them kind of wet. So when you take out these, you want to put these up under some so they can get stay flat. Okay, so let's try this first one. I hope I got this on um, correctly. And this is going to be without laminating paper. I ain't need no long piece of tape right there. I'm just wasting stuff. You need a little tiny piece of tape. Okay, so without y'all got paint all in my nail again. The mark of a true true cap um, crafter always ashes and paint up under your nail. That's gonna be sideways. Let me move that up a little bit. I didn't put the paper. The picture on the paper evenly, so I need to move this over. Let me see which way I need to move. Okay, there we go. I need to move it right. And I don't want it to run off the edge because I don't want that little line in there. So this is close as even we're going to get. Because I want the edge of my paper off to the side because I don't want that little line where you press. So, yeah, that's as even. We already know it's going to be crooked, folks, so we don't need to talk about that. So let me get some copy paper. I also use copy paper on this. What did I do with it? Not a problem. Get right here. Without the laminator and um, medium to heavy pressure, 60 seconds. I got 390, your normal 400, okay? Now, this is without laminating paper. Oh, you can tell that's really, really faded. That's really, really faded. So, that's without laminating paper. It's really faded, but a lot of um, ink came off of there. So, it actually soaked into the um, substrate. So, we're going to sit this to the side, and then we're going to do one with laminating paper. As I sit it to the side, I'm going to have to sit it up under some so it can be flat. So, give me a second. Okay, I had to stick that up under um, something heavy. Up under, I stuck it up under the heater so it can be flat. So again, I'm going to cut the laminating paper by putting it up in the corner. That's how I do it. I just stick it up in the corner so I don't have to have but three sides to cut instead of four. I'm going to put that in the corner. Hold it down. This thing ain't flat already. So, I 
Family Dollar, this thing so dang on sharp. It don't even make no sense. It's sharp as heck. Oh shit, I'm cutting the canvas. This thing, like I tell you, this thing is sharp as heck. I just touched that canvas in this cut. Okay, remember? Let me tell you this. So, there we go, my sheet. So, the laminated pouch has a shiny side and a dull side. The dull side goes on your substrate, okay? You got a lot of dirt on there. Goes on your substrate because that's the adherence. It adheres to that. This cut is a little off. We'll trim it up after I take it out. It's a little off. Matter of fact, I'm going to turn it off and I'm going to trim it up right now. Okay. Go ahead and cut that off. Okay. There we go. Okay, more perfecter. If that's the word, more perfect er, not perfect, but more perfect er. So you can actually trim afterwards. Okay, so I'm gonna do this 10 seconds just to get it adhered to here, just like I did the other one. Yeah, I reuse my paper when it ain't no ink on there and I'm not doing t-shirts. Cause this is gonna be covered up, so let me do this for 10 seconds. Got it for 10 seconds. It's adhered to that and hot. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to flip it over. And I'm going to get that little edge that is bothering the heck out of me. I thought I had it. There we go. Okay, sorry about that. That was bothering me. So, we're going to get our print for this. Don't throw these little pieces of laminate paper away because you might need to um, do something else with it. And when I cut it like that, if, I, if I'm making a scoop card or something, shoot, I'll make me a laminated pouch. I'll take this little piece I got extra. I promise you. Don't play around. Okay, so. I have to make sure I put that pink outline. Cause I did an exact eight by eight, so I know where I wanted this print. Cause it's a little bit smaller, so I put that pink. So I'm gonna try to line this up on that pink as good as I can. Cause this is an eight by eight. Probably should have. I think the best thing to do the next time when you take it out, especially if you're doing more than one, cause I'm actually putting graduation announcements on here. So I think when you take them out, go ahead and laminate them all. Take them out. Put them on something under some hard so they'll be flat then when you do them again. Because, again, this is some cardboard in here. So, it's paper as it's sweaty, it, it, um, you know, it bends. So, take it out and put it on something. You see the other one I took out, I immediately put it under something. You can do the same thing with this. But, again, that's my outline because that's where I want this set. And this is a... this. Um, canvas is a little warped because I just took it out without flattening it, but we're going to make that work. Because we're going to make that work. Okay, 60. Okay, so we'll do it. 60 seconds, I'm going to do 390. You can do 400. Whatever is your regular sub temperature. So, I know y'all don't want to see that. I will show y'all how I'm putting it on the printer. I mean, on the uh, heat press again. I'm putting the um, sub paper up. Put a piece of blowout paper on there. 
And there we go. So see you in 60 seconds. Okay, let's see what we got going on. Okay, we got we got some good um, blowout, so it, it released some ink. So that's a good sign. That's a good sign. Let me just whoop. Oh my goodness. Y'all yes. You, you see? Straight ink release. The pictures, these pictures are dark. I just did some because that's what the pictures look like. But look at there. But, of course, we've been knowing about the canvas. Again, I need to trim it a little bit. I'll just go by there and I'll trim it. But I'm going to go ahead. And we're going to go to the next one, which is these paddles. Be right back. Okay. I thought I'd throw in this little bit of bonus on how I made the... Um, template for this so the first thing i did is i measured my fan so i take my measuring tape and i measure the top part and i found that it was eight across and six from the top to right here so let me show you i make the first square eight by six so i'm on Silhouette, however, you can do the same thing in Cricut. What you would do in Cricut is you would grab a rounded square because this has little round edges. It's not going to be perfect, but it's going to get you close. So I'm going to take the drawing tool and I'm going to hit the second one. I'm going to draw one and I'm going to draw two because I got to do the handle. I'm going to go ahead and draw them. Then I'm going to deselect. Okay, I changed the dimensions of this first one. Eight by six. Eight by six. And then I'm going to measure the handle. I'm going to measure across, which is 1.25. And the height right here is four. So I'm going to change the dimensions on that. So the width is going to be 1.25. I'm sorry if this is shaky. I didn't want to jump off of here, go on, and make a um, video on the computer. So I decided to just hold my camera up. So we're going to make that 1.25 by 4. Again, you do the same thing on Cricut, except on Cricut, you'll grab you a... Uh, um, around this square or you could just use a regular square i would do around the square so once i get that i'm gonna put these together make sure they are touching okay i'm gonna highlight both of them then i'm gonna go up here and i'm gonna center that horizontally bam i'm gonna hit that and it's gonna center okay i centered that horizontally once I got them touching, I hope I got them touching. You're going to right click on here. You're going to weld on Cricut. You go to the bottom and weld. There we go. That's your paddle. Quick break, huh? Pretty neat, right? <clears throat> okay, we're back. I hope you enjoyed that little um, extra showing you how to make this dang on uh, um, template for this. So... This has a front and back side, so I'm going to do the front side. See that fits in there perfectly. I'm going to do the front side without laminate, and then to do the back side with laminate. So let me get ready for that. Okay, so if you'll see the way I did mine, I did a couple of offsets outside of my picture because I want more picture on here. Um, I'm not exactly wanting the outline. However, if I put in it in there and it's a little off, I won't be mad if that color be on there. I don't want it white, so I won't be mad if a little burden to get on there. So that's the way I made mine. 
you can absolutely make it smaller so that you have the outline on or whatever you want to do. You know how to design. It's not a design class, so. Just showing you what I do. And I think I want it right here. So I'm going to have a little bit of the burgundy on there. I'm going to tape it. So, we're going to have to get some butcher paper because that's going to blow our past that. Oh, I could just use... No, let me just get some butcher paper. Give me a second. Okay, just to make sure I don't want to uh, mess up anything. So, get this butcher paper and I'm going to fold it in half and I'm going to sandwich that in here. Okay. That's how I'm going to do it. There we go. So, 60. No, I didn't even take the pressure on that. I hope this is good. Since I just finished that canvas, it might be. Okay, it works. So, 60 seconds, 400 for you all, probably 390 for me. Okay. And at this point in editing, I realized I put the dang on thing upside down. So we're going to do this again. Anyway, this side came out upside down without the um, okay, so at laminating this point, paper, I which did we it, don't want to do that. So I'm going to do it again. No laminating paper. By the way, this paper. is the side with the laminated paper. It, it came out pretty good, press, but, but I again, broke it. I messed it up. So let's so do it without I'm the not laminated gonna paper. I'm going to subject you to right another way. mess up. I'm going to get to the right one. So, uh, Almost on this one, but not right. I also noticed when pressing that there's a very thin layer of plastic on the paddles. And you will see in the next segment where I finally get it right that I actually pulled that little piece of plastic up. So let's get to the right stage. Okay, by grabbing, using my nail to run along the edge of this, I was able to pull up this little plastic piece. So, I'm going to laminate it without this little plastic piece on here. So, I'm going to see how that's going to do. So, give me a second. I'm going to print another one. And I'm going to see because... This does the, um, if you look at this, this is the actual sub paper that came off and it actually, um, the plastic, it printed real good on the plastic. So what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to print another one and we're going to do it another way. I took this little plastic stuff off. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'll show you how I did it. This is the other side. I just scratched my nail along the corner of it until I caught it. Maybe I could do it with a weeding tool, but I 
did it with my nail until I pulled a little up. And then, you see that? Then I just grabbed it and started pulling it off until it all came off. So again, I just grabbed a little corner of it. And then I just pulled it off. Once you get a good corner, it'll be easy to pull off. So let me print this. I'm going to pull this off on both sides. Be right back. Okay, I printed another one. Let me get it um, cut out, torn out. Okay. So, put this over here. I always try to print a lot of stuff on my sub paper. So, this one has the plastic on it. I don't want to keep messing them up. So what I'm going to do is, this is the one with the laminate. Let me see how that look. These boards, I'm not too happy with the boards because they get wet. I'm not liking that, but hey, that's how it go. They got, it get wet and, well, I guess it don't tear apart, but it breaks down the integrity of it. So... I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do I want to try it without it. Give me a second. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do it with the laminated sheet. I won't be messing up too much supplies. So, I did take the plastic, that little plastic coat now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick this laminate on there again. The dull side goes towards your substrate. So I think what I'm gonna do is do it like this. Okay, let me cut this right quick and then I'll be back. Okay, now I got it. I hate cutting on curves. I messed up so bad. Cut half of the damn board. Hope y'all some better cutters than me. Okay. I think this time I might start it. Okay, so I'm going to do 10 seconds just to get the laminate stuck on here. Turn it over on there, and I'm gonna remember to flip it up this time. Okay. That's so hot. Okay. Just gonna do paper since I'm too lazy to walk over there to the butcher paper. Okay, here goes. And this is gonna be 60 seconds at your sub temp. Okay, 60 seconds, moderate to heavy pressure. Okay. 
I might have messed it up. I did 45 seconds because it just seemed like that's a lot of damn time. And oh, yes. Oh, yes. 45 seconds. But, woo. So I did 45 seconds on this instead of 60. On this paddle, I did 45 seconds because it's just soaking through the back. But that look good. So 45 seconds. Let me hold this up. 45 seconds. Okay. I brought it to the epoxy area. So you can see it looks really good. So 45 seconds I did on this. I actually peeled that little plastic sheeting off. Put laminating paper. And yeah, this is it right here. This is this the one right here. Peel the plastic off 45 seconds. Oh, yeah, that's it. That's it. Okay. Now, let's compare everything side by side, and we'll wrap up this video. Okay, we're going to wrap it up. First, we're going to go over the dry erase paddle from Dollar Tree. So, this is the first one I did with no laminate, and I did not take the plastic off. You'll see it's no ink release, really. And then it tore up because it got so wet. This one is laminate on the Dollar Tree paddle. However, I did not take the plastic off. The plastic is still on there. The little plastic that come on there. Okay. This one right here is no laminate. With the um sub paper on top, so the first one I had the sub paper on the bottom. This one I had the sub paper on the bottom. We don't need to know all that, but just showing you because them you don't want to follow them direction. This one is with the sub paper on the top, but I did not pull the plastic off, and you can tell the plastic actually stuck to the sub paper. It looks good. The Sub paper looks good now, but that's what happened, and it's very sticky. So this one is the one that I'm going with. This one is 45 seconds at your sub temperature. I use 390, 385 to 390 on mine. I pulled the little plastic off. It's a little sheet of plastic. Just grab the corner with your nail or wooden tool and pull it off. 45 seconds with the laminate, no plastic. I love that one. So that's what we're going to do for the dry, dry erase board. 45 seconds, pull the plastic off, laminate it, moderate to heavy pressure. Okay, now we're going to go with the canvas panel. So this is an 8 by 8 and the first one we did was no laminate. Okay, so... This is the sub sheet. Uh, I guess it's moderate release of the ink. And this is without laminate. It ain't too bad. It's faded if you want the um, old look. So it's not really bad. It's cotton. So if it get wet, it'll probably wash out. Okay, so then we have the print. And I used the laminating paper, and we got this. Pictures are bad. My pictures are bad, but it is awesome. And my pictures look just like this. They fuzzy and everything. I didn't clean them up. I just threw it together. And this my daughter and her fiancé. So this is when he asked her to marry him, and it looks awesome. Again, my pictures are horrible, so it looks like the pictures. But this is 60 seconds, sub temp, whatever your sub temp, your normal sub temp. 60 seconds, moderate to heavy pressure laminating sheet. And the last one is the sandwich board. Okay, the last one we're doing today are these mini sandwich boards. They're called wood wipe off boards at the Dollar Tree. So they're little sandwich boards. This is the first one we did straight on it with no lamination. 
Okay, no lamination. You'll see it wasn't that much ink release. And when I took it out and touched it, it smeared. It's not smearing now. So maybe if you want the faded look, when you take it off the um, heat press, don't touch it for about 20 minutes. And then it stops smudging. So this is without the laminating. And it didn't release a lot of ink. Okay, so now we have a sandwich board, and this with lamination paper, you see a lot of the ink release, and bam, baby, look at that. Again, I thought I was telling y'all something. I had, I thought I made up something, but I see everybody else was thinking the same way as me. Perfect. This right here, that little spot right here is where I had to tape. You can tell I had to tape, tape wrong, but full color. Laminating the sheet, I flipped it down on a laminated paper, cut it around it, or however you do your cutting. I'm not a good straight cutter, so I have to actually put it on there. But this is 60 seconds, moderate to heavy pressure, laminating sheet, mini sandwich board. Okay, that's going to bring this to a close. Okay, so that ends this video. I want to thank you all for watching the video. I hope you got something out of it. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. If you got something out of the video, hit that thumbs up. If you didn't like it, hit the thumbs down. But if you do a thumbs down, please tell me what the problem is so I can rectify it if it's rectifiable. <laughs> New word, rectifiable. Also, Please hit that bell at the bottom, ding, 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 so you can be notified when I upload new content. I know it's taking a minute, but I am slammed, thankfully, with these graduation orders going into Father's Day. So, I will get them in as I can. I am actually doing dominoes now, and I'm going to be doing a dominoes video on the things I have learned since my first video that I did, the real long one. So I'm working on a video because, of course, as I learn more, I do more. So I hope you all have a great day and see you next time. Bye-bye.